Welcome to a new edition of The Real Footage Show. Coming up next, we're going to be celebrating five years of Tim Davis on Facebook. Stay tuned. It's Variety, The Real Footage Show, Tim Davis. Hi, and welcome to The Real Footage Show. I'm Tim Davis, and today we're going to be celebrating and looking back on the past five years, not of this video series, but of me, Tim Davis, uh, first launching onto the social media network site, Facebook. It all began on May 24th of 2010, when I first began my Facebook page, which is five years later became a showcase and a platform to promote not only uh, radio, television, and film, but music entertainment as well. Uh, the page began, as I said, on the 24th of May of the year 2010, uh, kind of by accident to, to begin with. Um, there was a page that I discovered that was on Facebook that I was somewhat interested in. And uh, the only way to uh, associate within the page and to uh, share comments and whatnot was to get a Facebook account, which was free. Uh, but to me, to be honest, at that time, I was not a majorly big social media network fan. So uh, it took a lot to get me to uh, actually make a profile account onto the uh, page of uh, Facebook. When I did, however, it was very fun. Uh, and once I got the hang of the page, it was uh, very interesting. I wanted to make my page a little bit different, though, from others. Uh, as I said, being not as a fan of social media networking sites, I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I decided to make it a a fan page for old time radio, classic television, and more uh, within the entertainment industry. And to this day, it has blossomed into uh, a big affair of of just that. But beginning back in the early days of uh, 2010, uh, things started out somewhat slow as I was trying to find a direction to go into. Um, it was easy at times and not easy at times as well. Um, but in 2010, I really had no uh, official profile photos to put up at the time. So my very first generic profile picture on Facebook was that of the uh, Sega mascot of Sonic the Hedgehog. That remained up for about a few weeks until I finally actually took a picture of myself and used that as a uh, profile picture. Facebook was also a little bit different back then in the year of 2010. The timeline format that uh, uh, everyone is familiar with nowadays was not uh, on the uh, Facebook social media networking site at the time. It was a little bit of a different setup. Uh, so uh, there was um, a sort of a different uh, uniqueness to it then than there is now. Um, when I first began, I started with a bunch of my collection of old-time radio programs and began to post them on a weekly basis. And then not soon after that, as the weeks continued, I started to also post uh, theme songs of uh, television shows, uh, which I thought people might be interested in. I began to grow somewhat of a fan base and meet lots of people that had the same interests in the same uh, ideas and concepts that I had, and it went from there. Um, it was quite interesting because as I look back now on some of the stuff we did uh, uh, in May and throughout that summer of 2010, it was very quite generic compared to some of the stuff I think we're doing right now uh, on my page. But again, that's progress and that's how things eventually turn out. I always wanted it to be a just a simple fan page where people could enjoy themselves and not talk about the weather or unpleasant things, kind of just to get take your mind away from things. And to this day, it remains uh, that very such place. 2010 began the introduction of our photos of old-time radio show album covers. Uh, each week we presented an old-time radio show and uh, placed behind it was a blue curtain background. We took many of pictures of many of shows with that design and we also uh, in that year presented a 25th anniversary marathon week for Nick at Night. In the year 2010, Nick at Night was celebrating 25 years on the air, and we paid special tribute to that by presenting a week of jingles and promos and whatnot of the 25 years of uh, Nick at Night. Uh, we also uh, began to post more regular television things as well throughout uh, the rest of that year uh, into the fall and winter of 2010 before the year closed. We continued with our old-time radio posts as well as our TV posts and then uh, 
began to build upon our fan base and bring along new and more exciting things for the upcoming new year. Going into the year of 2011, we had um, much to build upon what we were doing in 2010. We began to add new things uh, every now and then. In 2011, we first came up with another new concept idea, uh, which was a basic parody on uh, previous things we have seen in the past. Beginning in August of 2011, we started the idea to uh, create a sheet cake, an edible-themed sheet cake to actually eat uh, that would uh, represent a specific television show that we were trying to theme. We began in August of 2011 with that of the 1980s television program Moonlighting, starring Sybil Shepard and Bruce Willis. Uh, it was an instant success, and as I say, a parody. It is based on the idea of when a specific television show or program reaches a high number of episodes, like a hundredth episode or a thousandth, thousandth episode, uh, they'll bring out a gigantic sheet cake, and the, the, the cast and crew will, will have fun celebrating that uh, magnificent number that they have reached. That was sort of the idea we did. Instead of reaching a number, though, we were just randomly taking television shows and uh, celebrating it with a theme and using that as a sheet cake idea. The Moonlighting Cake was uh, in honor to celebrate the show's 25th anniversary that the show reached uh, in 2010. That idea from us will also be continued again uh, in October of 2011 when we did the same idea, but this time for the classic television show, I Love Lucy. In October of 2011, I Love Lucy, the television series, celebrated its 60th anniversary, and we again presented another sheet cake in honor of the show's uh, 60th anniversary. In January of 2012, uh, the following year, uh, we did it again, again a third time, uh, this time by presenting the show to the classic television show of the 1950s and into the 60s, the Donna Reed Show, which has been a, a popular program for us. And then in February of 2015, more recently, uh, we presented a fourth sheet cake, and this time celebrating the introduction of our jingles, our customized jingles, which were introduced in late 2014. So the cake idea being parodied on that of uh, film crews and television shows have done in the past. Just a simple, neat, yet uh, unique idea to go upon uh, that of uh, that idea. Also in uh, the year of 2011, we began to uh, bring about themed photos. Now what I mean themed photos, themed photos of television shows we would present uh, each show uh, with a, a title screen. A title screen is something you see as the opening theme comes on to one of your favorite shows. Uh, it will show the, sh the title of the show uh, and, and go from there. What we would do is we would uh, freeze frame the title screen and we would pose in front of it, either my sister or I, and take a photo and theme it. Uh, for example, we did a photo of the uh, TV show Happy Days. And within that photo, I pose with... Uh, uh, slick back hairdo along with uh, records all around me to pose as somewhat like the Fonz on Happy Days. We also did another themed uh, photo of the TV show from the 1970s of The Odd Couple where some of the uh, photo was messy and some of it was clean to resemble the characters of Oscar Madison and Felix Unger from that TV show. This idea of themed photos began in 2011 and carried on well into 2014, but I have to admit that many of the times they were very difficult to come out with the final photos a lot of times lighting was off or something just wasn't set correctly or the focus was off. So a lot of work and uh, effort really went into those photos to make them uh, what they were. In 2011, we were also still continuing to build upon our old-time radio fan base by adding more shows and, and promoting more shows um, to that idea as well. Moving into the year of 2012 on Facebook, our very first Tim D TV Network logo was introduced, although it was very pixelated at the time. Uh, it was shown uh, to people, which uh, really got a kick out of the idea and the design. The logo I see behind me here, Tim D TV Network, was created within that year, but did not start showing up in posts until a little bit later on in the year of 2012. Uh, Tim D production uh, began in 2010. It's a combination of my sister's name and my name. Uh, me being Tim and my sister being Cindy, the two names put together, again, uh, uh, to replicate or to parody that idea of production companies of the past like Desi Lou Productions, uh, uh, Desi Arnez, and Lucille Ball, Tim D. TV Network, uh, focusing on that idea. In 2012, we also launched a second page for the first time ever 
uh, spinning off from my original main profile page, I decided to spin off another page that would promote music videos. Uh, since the very early days of uh, 2010, when I first began on Facebook, uh, once in a while, on occasion, I would post um, posts on Facebook titled Music Flashbacks, which were mostly music videos or songs from the 1970s and 1980s. They were a pretty big hit with the fans. A lot of them got a kick out of them. A, a lot of them brought back memories to people. Uh, but there wasn't really enough time and enough room on that page to focus on them and focus, focus also on the radio and television angle as the entertainment as well. So I decided to come up with an entirely new page called Strictly Music 101, the music videos fan page, which features at that time music videos from the 1980s through the 2000s. Strictly Music 101 music videos launched on Facebook on June 8th of 2012 and has been there since and is now the primary home of all music videos uh, nowadays from the 1980s up to the 2010s to present current day music. More songs have been added to that list since the, uh, the page first began. Strictly Music has a very unique international audience. A lot of people enjoy the page from all over the world. Um, it also serves not only as a music videos fan page for many different artists throughout those decades as mentioned, but it also serves as a uh, Savage Garden fan page. Savage Garden is a popular 1990s pop music duo group which premiered in the 1990s and many fans not only enjoy the music videos on Strictly Music 101 music videos, but also the Savage Garden posts and videos that are on there as well. It's a very interesting page. If you have never been on it or have been on it, come over and see us. Just type in Strictly Music 101 music videos in the search box on Facebook and come join the fun with all the music shared on that page. In 2013, uh, more posts of uh, the areas of uh, music as well as old-time radio, television, and film were working their way throughout Facebook. 2013, uh, we tried to as always, do stuff differently that we did in the previous year. We've succeeded many a times, and sometimes we have not. But 2013, we began to post such things as memorable moments uh, on my Facebook page, uh, for classic moments of television shows that are totally unforgettable. And we also continue to make Strictly Music 101 more popular by adding more likes and friends to the page as well. Uh, 2013 also began to see our Tim D TV Network logo show up more on posts and within pictures. We were trying to use it as a, a brand image, a brand name, uh, even though it is fictional. Uh, we still use it as uh, a creation logo for what we're trying to promote and do on Facebook. Uh, 2013 <clears throat> also began to see uh, Strictly Music receive more uh, later 2010s and late 2000 music videos join the, the roster. Uh, for, for the past year and a half, the page was uh, mostly promoting stuff from the 1980s uh, up until the early to mid-2000s. But that all changed uh, in late 2013 and going into early 2014. The page began to add more uh, music videos from the uh, 2000s and now more recently songs from today uh, from the 2010s. Uh, that happened on the Strictly Music uh, Music Videos Facebook fan page. So 2013, uh, so somewhat of a carryover year from 2012, but very interesting, uh, not to Many say the least. Many things began to change within the year of 2014. Our focus was still present on everything we started back in the early days of 2010, but 2014 now began to see our image, our uh, brand name, Tim D TV Network, begin to show up more and more often in a very uh, various posts and uh, uh, promotions. We also, it was also the year that we uh, began to promote it on banners such as the one behind me, as well as on coffee mugs and miscellaneous type items. Uh, the name was now beginning to pop up almost everywhere. Uh, the, the name was there to promote and say, hey, that must be Tim Davis because there's that logo again. It's so, sort of a branding technique, uh, a unique way uh, to promote yourself without always having to have your your, your picture present, uh, the name, people would recognize that, no, that must be your material. 2014 also uh, was another very important year uh, because it also began to uh, bring out more and more unique things as the year came to a close. In 2014, we began trivia posts in November of that year. For the first time ever, we began to post monthly trivia posts 
uh, a series of three questions per month based on television shows from the 1950s to the present day. And uh, just a, a fun way to get uh, people to interact and have a fun time answering the questions. Sometimes easy, sometimes hard, uh, depending on what the topics of them were. To this day, out of the current day in uh, 2015, we still continue each month to present uh, one of those trivia posts. Mostly either the first or second Friday of each month they are posted. They are known as Via Tim D TV Network Star. We are currently up uh, past the Tim D TV Network Star 5 mark. Each month a new number is added and more questions are added to the list. A very fun and unique way uh, to have fun with uh, television, film, and music. At the end of 2014, for the very first time, we also introduced our own very own customized jingles. One day we will talk exclusively about them, but for right now, uh, the jingles were created because uh, for many years I always wanted to have my own custom jingles. I've enjoyed many of the network's jingles of the past, like on Nick at Night and TV Land. It'd be interesting to have some of your own. So we called upon the people in Dallas, Texas, at Jam Creative Productions Incorporated to make us a few jingles to promote some of the stuff that we were doing on Facebook. The jingles were specifically made to fit our themes and for everything we were doing, either from radio to music to television and films. They were specifically chosen not only by their sound, but uh, how the texture of them is to make sure that the name comes across as well as what we are trying to promote. The jingles were a huge success. Uh, as I said, they, they debuted in late 2014 and into early 2015 and are now featured within many of our various promotional items on Facebook to promote uh, pictures as well as this series you are watching right now. 2014, another pinnacle point in the Tim D TV Network timeline. Coming out of 2014 and going into 2015, we still continue to enjoy many of our interesting posts throughout the week, from the trivia to the theme song to the old time radio posts. And this series that you are watching right now, which originally uh, began in June of 2014, carried throughout the rest of that year and into 15. Uh, now, uh, many uh, episodes, uh, short form and long form, for you to view on my YouTube channel. Uh, this series, known as The Real Footage Show, debuted in June of 2014. It was uh, introduced to get people to actually see me in a video format rather than in just pictures, um, to actually hear me, to see me on screen. Uh, I'm not um, unfamiliar to making videos for Facebook. In the early 2010s and 11s, I created a few videos here and there, uh, but nothing unlike uh, this series that you're watching now. This series is actually uh, more themed with intros and outros, with jingles and uh, specific songs related to the informative entertainment ideas that we give you within these shows. In 2015, we uh, decided to launch another, uh, yet a third page on Facebook, this time a group page known as uh, Music Standards. Now, Music Standards is known as the Sounds of Unforgettable Artists. It is a Facebook page that uh, represents music legends from the 1940s all the way up into the 1980s. Icons like Diana Ross and the Supremes, uh, Judy Garland, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, uh, Glenn Miller and his orchestra, the legends of music. A lot of it is all big band sound. A lot of it is oldies. At times, it gets uh, uh, we bring in some country, as well as a lot of pop hits uh, from the 50s and 60s. Now, unlike its other page, Strictly Music 101, which is uh, in a way uh, associated with it because of the music theme, Music Standards, which debuted on March 2nd of 2015, is entirely devoted to those specific artists and songs of those decades. The page is also a little bit more user-friendly as it is associated in a, a group format where anybody uh, could uh, uh, post their favorite pictures and videos and songs of their favorite artists. Sort of similar in a way to as what Strictly Music is, but Strictly Music videos uh, 101 uh, timeline is more of that of a timeline, whereas Music Standards is uh, the group format. So Music Standards began, as I said, in uh, March 2nd of 2015 to very big success. For years, I wanted to do something uh, with uh, oldies and big band hits, uh, but they didn't quite fit the theme of that on Strictly Music 101, so a page entirely new and different was created uh, to fit that kind of music. So that now leaves us with 
three Facebook pages. My main page, Tim Davis, which is my main profile, but also serves as the page for old-time radio posts, television series, either classic or modern, and film, as well as retro items and pop culture as well. Strictly Music 101 Music Videos TV is the second page, which focuses on pop video music hits from the 1980s through the 2010s. And the third page, and most recent and newest, is Music Standards, which features the legendary songs of artists from the 1940s up to the 1980s. This video is not to celebrate the fifth anniversary of this show. It is to celebrate my five years on Facebook from 2010 to 2015. And we only cover a minimal amount of the stuff that has happened throughout the years. We just basically cover the highlights of some of the stuff that occurred throughout those years, some of the more uh, bigger events. Uh, one thing not to mention also, uh, that we presented an entire week in 2011 of I Love Lucy posts. When I Love Lucy celebrated its 60th anniversary in 2011, we featured nothing but I Love Lucy themed posts, from trivia to cast photos to theme songs and, of course, the theme sheet cake that we had. I Love Lucy was a very big deal for us in 2011 when the, when the show celebrated its 60th anniversary, and that was just another uh, part that made that year very special. Uh, as I mentioned, we could only cover so much in a short amount of time. Uh, to really appreciate the effect and everything that everyone gets involved with on the pages um, is to experience it for yourself. Uh, many people have been with me since um, my very first days on Facebook, and I appreciate you for being there so much. Uh, many people came along as the years went on, uh, but our main devotion and focus on preserving the entertainment industry, whether it's from old-time radio, film, television, or music, my sister and I love promoting it and sharing it with people just like you. Thank you for making the first five years on Facebook a huge success, and here's to more successful months and years ahead down the road. Thank you, everyone, and we'll see you next time on another episode of The Real Footage Show. Bye-bye, my friends. Before we leave you with this edition of The Real Footage Show, we would just like to share with you a small sample of some of the vast amount of photos that we have uh, created over the years from 2010 to the present day. Just to give you an idea of some of the uh, photos we were talking about earlier within this show from the early days of 2010 to the present day. Enjoy the photos, and again, thank you for watching.